Good morning, everyone. My name is Connie, and I'm here with Julia Richter, and we're so excited to share this book, Resisting Happiness, with you. Julia shared this book with me, and tell me, Julia, what was it that intrigued you the most? Well, first of all, the cover is pretty catchy. I like the yellow <laughs> and the, the little smiley face because we all want to be happy. Mm -hmm. We all strive for that happiness. And um, Matthew Kelly is a fantastic author. I know author. you're a huge fan of He's, him. Yeah, written yeah. so many great books. And he has. Um, recently, just rediscovering my faith again, he's helped me tremendously with his books and his literature. So I, this was just one of the newest that just came out within this past year. And I love it because it's just, uh, it's a great short read to the point with a lot it of is. great points and make just a lot of thought provoking questions that help you to look at things differently. I do, I love it. And it's quick, it's like one to two, two, three page chapters, yeah. but it gives mm -hmm. you a little um, review after on mm -hmm. how to implement it throughout mm -hmm. the week. Absolutely. So what Julie and I are gonna do, we're gonna meet again next week. And if you wanna follow along with us, um, message me, Connie Lynn, on Facebook. And what we're gonna do is like a private group just to stick together and do the online book club. It. So it's a quick read and it's fast, but you know, a lot of us do resist happiness. And I was just asked this week, I haven't seen one of my cousins in a while and she said, Connie, are you still happy? And it kind of caught me off guard because we do get caught up in life mm -hmm. where I looked at her like, I think so, mm -hmm. I don't know, but mm -hmm. are we living to our fullest and are we, mm -hmm. we can always be happier. Mm -hmm. Some people you say to me, how are you always so happy? Mm -hmm. And I think I lost that after a while getting mm -hmm. caught up in the hustle and bustle in the everyday life that all of us, all mm -hmm. of us share. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we're going to take the time to review the book this week. You guys get the book, Resisting Happiness. I know there's a lot of churches, too, that have given it out. Mm -hmm. And we're excited to see everybody's reviews and thoughts. And we'll see you all next week then. Thanks, Julia, for joining us. Thanks. All right, Julia, so just going through the book with you, I read one part, resistance hates ordinary, everyday action. Resistance likes to distract us, keeping us thinking about things we can do nothing about. You know, sometimes things are not in our control, mm -hmm. but how do we find um, peace with ourselves? It mm -hmm. can be, you know, we're always thinking about tomorrow or what we did yesterday, mm -hmm. or, you know, it's that worry, that worry, mm -hmm. worry, worry. Mm -hmm. And that's where the phrase worry less, pray more comes in. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you agree? I do. I feel um, by learning how to pray too is a great tool because uh, I even know in the past I would pray but I just would ask for things and I felt like if I was connecting to God and asking him for things that he would grant it if I'm praying or going to like church. Like a genie, but, like yeah. a genie. It's almost that rookie way of right. praying where mm -hmm. give, I give you three wishes but right. God's not like that. It's right. on his timing, not on ours. Yes. We're getting cut off here. And I think too, if we, yeah, so this book is great because in the very last uh, page, mm -hmm. it talks about the prayer process and there's actually seven different steps. Um, and the first one is gratitude. And I think being grateful for what we have and realizing that sometimes there's a quote and it says um, what we take for granted the most is what other people are praying for yeah and so to really be grateful for just the simple things in life and by taking God and putting him in the center of our mm -hmm. self because we were created in the image of God and really yeah. trusting in that helps to bring the peace and helps to slow us down in life. Well, it's not things. It's mm -hmm. not things that will make you complete. Because right. once you have those things, how mm -hmm. complete are you in right. life? Exactly. It's not the things, it's the, it's the items. It's it's who you are mm -hmm. and the legacy that you're going to leave mm -hmm. with other people. Mm -hmm. When we lose the ones we love, mm -hmm. it's not their things that matter to us. Mm -hmm. It's what they Mm -hmm. how they were with us, how they treated us, and it's their legacy that we live on. And that's mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. that can never be replaced or mm -hmm. taken away. Mm -hmm. Don't I you agree? agree. I do. And I feel like when, when you're touched by someone or something, and um, it, it's a beautiful gift mm -hmm. to be able to share your God-given gifts with others, too. Mm -hmm. And that's what we were all given, special gifts. And God you know, ask us to use those gifts to help others. Um, and so that's, I think, a great mission if we can all live for that. Too. It's, you know, it, it's so true. Everyone deserves the happiness. Mm -hmm. And yes, you can always be happier. Mm -hmm. So are you still happy? 
are you happy? Are you a little happy? If you're, if you're dissatisfied, it's okay. Mm -hmm. That's something to learn and grow from mm -hmm. and be better. Because mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. there's always a way to be better mm -hmm. and, and be a better you mm -hmm. and to grow your relationship mm -hmm. with God at the same time. Mm -hmm. And that's where you find happiness mm -hmm. within. I agree. Very well said. So thanks, everybody. And we will see you next week. That's right. <laughs>